What's going on guys, Waga here. This video is going to be about how our experience went on the official Small Tribe Scorched Earth release. As you could probably tell from the title, it did not go good. To set up some context, what you are watching right now is about two hours into wipe. We go to do our first raid on these guys as they were the closest to us and the farthest progressed. So yeah, we wipe this base pretty quickly, get all the turrets down, kill all of them, all of their tames, set them back a bit. A few hours pass and we start getting all of the artifacts. We go to Central Cave and the same tribe that we had raided have turrets in the entrance, we wipe that real quick. We get the turrets down and start doing runs for the artifacts. My teammate calls out that he's been aimbotted above the cave, so I spawn in on a bed near my RG and go out to see if I can find him. Luke Luga? Yeah, yeah, he's botting with the simple pistol. That's actually big. Uh, can I LB this? Freak oh, he was out of ammo! That's probably why he didn't go off on us! <laughs> he didn't have any ammo. We got an artifact and went back to grinding. My trimates got killed by him a few more times over a few hours, but didn't take clips. The botters had built back up in the same spot as before, so we went over to grief them and see if we could get a clip to send in for a ticket. Do wyverns take headshot damage? Landing. Out to us. Or we don't get picked. Oh, he's 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 got a fabby out. There there was a guy there. By the thorny. thing on us as well. It's hard, it's hard to tell though, because like, you don't move too fast on this game. And my helmet's gone again. Okay, yeah. So yeah, at that point I figured a clip of him hitting him in the head six times without missing would be good enough proof, so I sent him a ticket. In the ticket I said they have been aimbotting my tribe today a few times. I finally got a clip of them doing it to me. I included in the ticket a clip of the aimbot and a picture of our tribe log. I admit not the most well-written ticket, but after playing the game for 17 hours straight, I guess that's what I managed to put together. Just 14 minutes after putting in my ticket, I get this response. Thank you for your report. An investigation into this matter is now underway, and we do not require further information for, from you to proceed. We will now be moving your report to closed status whilst we investigate. 
Due to player privacy, we are unable to discuss the status or outcome of the investigation. Any replies to this particular ticket will be automatically closed by the system, so please create a new ticket if you would like to submit new information or proof related to this case. If you create a new ticket to update us on this case, please include your reference number from this ticket in the new report. Reports of other players or tribes will require a unique new report specific to that case. Thanks once again for your assistance in helping us to keep the ARC a fun and fair environment for all. Sincerely, GM Raptor. At this point, I'm pretty happy. I felt that the proof was good enough to get at least the one guy banned, and they had responded so quickly to the ticket that I was shocked. But the guy was still not banned, he was still talking to Chad an hour after I got the response from them, and our tribe was scared that we would get raided overnight, being up on top of a cliff. So we moved everything into the new Red Obelisk Cave. At least they couldn't aimbot us underwater was our thought process. So we moved everything into the cave and I headed to bed. I had been up for almost 20 hours and needed to get some sleep. When I woke up, I looked at Discord and apparently some of my members were able to talk to the botting tribe and set up some kind of truce. I didn't like it or trust it, but most of my tribe was fine with it, so I just decided to start playing the game. We farmed for a good 9 hours and I started teaming Rexes so we could get the boss fight done. Then we decided to do a raid near Blue Ob, the one that's been playing while I've been saying all of this. We finish up this raid and are heading back to base. Here's two of my tribe mates' point of view. Wing flap, 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 wing flap. Pew pew pew! I'm dead! Sorry, no audio, but uh, hopefully those sound effects gave you the gist of it. And it's Why would you put it in the gates? Why would you put it in the gates? That's like, what? My bad. So it doesn't come as a shock the cheaters went back on their word. But what could we really do? We couldn't try to raid them, we would've just got botted. We stay on the pillar, we get raided overnight. So the only option was to move into the cave. Now I would've left some turrets on the starter just so that we had something to use on the outside. But hey, I went to bed early and they had got rid of the whole starter, so we were just stuck inside of the cave. Tribe morale was pretty low, everyone hopped off besides me. With the new cryo changes and the fact that nobody had tech yet, there should've been no way that the cave got raided with the way we had it set up, so I took the time to submit another ticket. It read, The same aimbotter from yesterday is botting us again. Nothing was done from the ticket yesterday. I included the ticket number from yesterday as they had requested for me to do if I ever had to make a new ticket inside of the first ticket. I am currently streaming and cannot do anything to defend against them now because they botted us while they were getting the outside of the cave down. This is extremely upsetting considering that we sent in a clip yesterday that in my opinion was clearly aimbot and nothing was done. And then I sent them the clips from when we were coming back from the raid as well as the clip from last night of me getting botted. At this point I hopped off the game as well. I had already been on for 12 hours and I couldn't really do much being stuck inside the cave. I went to bed and slept for like 9 hours, woke up and there was still no response to the ticket. I didn't get a response until about 12 and a half hours after I submitted it. Here's what they said. This case is currently under investigation via another report. Multiple tickets aren't necessary for our investigation purposes and this ticket will now be closed. Please be assured that the investigation will continue. Thank you for your report. Sincerely, GM Noglin. So yeah, not really what we were looking for from a response. Wildcard did nothing to help us against the cheaters. I don't know why they would say in the first ticket to make another one if we had more proof, if they weren't going to use it anyway. What was there to investigate? In my opinion, they had everything that they needed to ban them. Anyway, I didn't even end up getting on the game after that. There was no point. I decided to play some other games on stream, but my tribe was starting up again outside the cave. While all of them were away from the base, it got raided. The cheaters said that they Thyla ran the generator. Here's a clip of a Thyla moving in the water. I don't think that on day 3 of a server where you are going to mainly be in prim flak that you would be able to get to the gen before you're shot off. They most likely raided the cave with a net limiter, which allows you to desync the cave and use explosives without getting shot. It has been a cheat for a few months now, but we don't have any proof of that so who knows. But yeah, that's pretty much the video. I'm mainly making this to show off that cheaters are still very much real on the official servers, and I would not recommend anyone play on them. I also made this video to show everyone that this is why I won't have any content on the Scorch release. I'm not going to waste my time trying to build back up just to have it all destroyed by cheaters. Also, I know I'm not very expressive. I don't really raise my voice or get mad when I'm talking unless it's in the moment, as I'm sure some of my stream viewers see from time to time. But I do want everyone to know I'm very upset with Wildcard. They keep on letting me down, whether it be with botching release dates or not managing their admin team correctly. They just can't seem to get it right. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if it's not too much to ask, try to share this wherever you can. Maybe if enough people see this, it will get wildcard to get into gear, but I doubt it.